Ah, watch where you're going. Yeah. My humble greetings. How may I help you? I need something to keep our soldiers awake. Do you know of anything that might help? I do know of a concoction to ward off sleep. I can teach you how to make it if you like. No, I need someone who will do it for me. I'm sorry, but I'm not a miracle worker. I can only sell you what I have. Would you teach me? Sir. I'd like to. Isn't that. Up moving. Would you teach Sir. I'm in. Wow. Well. Good luck, Ben. I need. But I need enough. For I can't help you with that. You'll have. That'll be very helpful. May the Lord watch over you.
God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Sir Robard sent me to you. He said you have to build a trebuchet. Indeed. A trebuchet that can smash the walls of Tamburg. Aye, a mining engineer. What do I know of war machines? I'll never manage it on my own. Well, I'd like to help you, but how? I don't know anything about trebuchets either. Actually, there is a way you could help. Conrad Kieser came to Sasso recently. If you could get him to come here, it would save my skin. Conrad Kieser? Who's he? He's a scholar who studied medicine, but he also designed siege engines. He even took part in the siege of Nicopolis, together with Sigismund. You're still an engineer, though. Couldn't you build it yourself? Are you serious? Do you know how complicated such a machine is? What forces are at work in the contraption? If we were lucky, it wouldn't fire at all. Far more likely it would smash itself to smithereens and kill lots of us instead of the enemy. He was with Sigismund. It's not so straightforward. They quarrelled after the battle, after Conrad blamed their defeat on Sigismund. Hmm. I don't suppose he took that too well. Quite. That's what led to Conrad being banished from Prague and making a base at Bethlehem Castle. Banished? Like a common criminal? He was a member of the court and a doctor and a master engineer, so nothing quite that bad befell him. I've even heard he has a whole host of wise men with him and they're writing some book together. What's he doing here in Sassau? They sent him over here to help with building the monastery. No doubt they had to pay handsomely to get him. And how am I supposed to get him here? Abduct him? Well, only if all else fails. We need his cooperation. Try having a word with him. By all accounts, he hates Sigismund. All right, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Henry. Maybe we will build that trebuchet after all. God be with you. Do you happen to know the whereabouts of Conrad Kieser? And what do you want from the old buzzard? What? That old fool? The one who spends his time poring over old books instead of at the tavern? He's all locked away at the custodian's house. That's the big place in the courtyard by the monastery. God be with you. Well, joke all you like, but I heard it snow.
The Lord be praised. What pre Sir Tobias Fafar, the master builder and engineer from Scalitz, sends his greetings. Fafar? Tobias Fafar? I've heard of him. He invented an interesting mining machine. Uh, what does he need? Sir, have you heard what's been going on in Talmberg? I've heard a thing or two. Is it true the castle's been taken? It has, and we want to take it back. Master Fafar has been given the task of building a trebuchet, but he's not sure he can manage it. I doubt it myself. Uh, building siege engines is an entirely different kettle of fish than mining. Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment, and I can't leave here right now. Why can't you leave? That's a long story. I was a little, uh, more than a little, critical of Sigismund's efforts at Nicopolis. And it might surprise you to know, after that defeat, he didn't particularly appreciate my criticism. Then, when Sigismund abducted the king, I didn't feel too secure in Prague, so I left. Hmm, perhaps left is the wrong word. Uh, some might say I was banished. In any case, I went to Betelurn Castle. And why are you here in Sassar? To be honest, I need the money. Money, sir? You don't seem like a man who lives in want. Dear me, no. I don't need it to support myself. It's to fund my opus. Uh, that's why I agreed to help with the construction of the monastery. So, you see, I can't simply take my leave. Could I help you escape, perhaps? Who says I want to? But you said you couldn't leave, sir. Young man, I can't leave because I gave my word I'd help with the building of the monastery here. And my word is my bond. I have no intention of sneaking away like some criminal. Who do you work for here? My contract is with the abbot himself. But I discuss the work details with Carol, the monastery's master builder. Could I not just pay off the master builder for your services? I doubt it. Carol is only interested in the construction. As long as he has the money to pay the craftsman's wages, that's all he needs. Ah, as long as he has enough for wages, you say? Yes. What are you thinking? Couldn't Carol be persuaded somehow? After all, the defence of the province is at stake. I realise that, but Sassar Monastery has always kept its neutrality. Uh, what's more, the abbot isn't here at present, and without his permission, Carol won't be persuaded. But I might have another idea. What do you suggest? Carol received his commission in writing. If you found it, we could, uh, well, we could copy the abbot's seal and signature on our own document. That's a curiously interesting idea. <laughs> My inventiveness has many applications. I could be back here before the abbot, so he won't even know I was gone. How do I get my hands on the commission? It will be somewhere in his quarters. You need to get it quickly and put it back before he notices it's gone. I suggest waiting until evening. That's when Carol usually goes to the tavern to play dice. He's fond of his dice. Maybe you can take advantage of that somehow. Right. I'll see what I can do. You really can't come with me right away? Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment, and I can't leave here right now. Hmm. Look here, I don't want any trouble. You better talk to Carral, the mark.
do you think you're doing? I've a mind to call the guards. My respects to you. I need some help from Master Conrad. Then go and talk to him. The thing is, he's already agreed, but he'd have to go to Talmberg. I can't consent to that. He signed a contract for building the monastery, and we pay him a pile of coin for every day he spends here. But the conquest of Talmberg is more important for the province. From what I hear, it's awfully important first and foremost for your lord. Sassau's always been neutral. Anyway, I take my orders directly from the abbot. Thank you for your invaluable assistance. You're welcome. May God reward you in kind. Take care now. Greetings. I've got that commission. Not so loud. For heaven's sake, show it here. The very thing. Go to the Sassau scribe and say to him the fox isn't half as clever as he thinks. Then he'll do as you ask. Is that a password? Just so. He insists on it. Don't forget to repeat it verbatim and aloud. Then all you have to do is take the new document to Carol and tell him a messenger brought it. All right. But most importantly, do it quickly and put the commission back immediately. Carol's no fool. If he can't find it, he'll put two and two together when you bring him the new document and the game will be up. I'm honoured that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I have a message for you. Hmm? The fox isn't half as clever as it thinks. What?
the fox. Jack ass. What in heaven's... Conrad Keyser sent. Why the hell didn't you say so? That sod. He deliberately lied to me to make me look stupid. Well, never mind. What do you want? I've got this document here and I, I need to have a different one drawn up with um, the same signature and seal. So Conrad is still up to his old tricks. Give him my greetings. Let's see it then. Hmm. All right. Give me an hour. I hope I won't have problems on your account. Good luck to you. Is it done? Here you are. And pass on my best to the old dragon. Good luck to you. Yeah. A tanker here. What to do with something to eat? God be a messenger. The hand of fate. We'll see what fate brings. I have an authorization letter of my own from the abbot, and if your letter of patent is fake, come with me. It's a good name. Take care now. Here, enjoy it. Tankard of ale for me.
It goes against the grain, but the seal and signature are genuine. So Conrad may leave? He can. The letter of patent is genuine, and when the abbot commands... Wonderful. I'll tell him. Take care now. To me. Sweet Jesus, I knew this day would come. What? Who is? Carol said you can leave and... Leave? I can't even set foot outside the door. Not now. Please, calm down and tell me what's going on. <sighs> They're after me. Who? Who's after you? Sigismund's people, of course. Why would they be after you? Because he's never forgiven my criticisms of Nicopolis. Now he's decided to pay me back. What am I to do? What makes you think someone's after you? When I was on my way to Sassau, I saw Baron Pekar in Kostelitz. He was with Sigismund on the crusade, as was I. Now I've been told he was seen at the local tavern. And a stranger's been creeping around the gardens here late at night. My God, there are signs someone was trying to force the door. They're after me, Henry. The Lord preserve me. They want to kill me. Take it easy. If someone's after you, I'll see to it. I'll have a sniff around the town or lie in wait for him. I don't know. What if he sneaks past you? He won't, I promise. I'll hide in the garden, and if anyone starts creeping around after dark, I'll catch him. You will, won't you? Good, good. And be sure to hide well. If he sees you, he won't come.
Why do they want to kill me now? You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. Mm. Hey. Well, did you find anyone? I did. And? He's dead. He was an assassin, all right. Lord have mercy. Was it Pekar? Yes. I saw him all too clearly. So they are after me. I knew it. Sweet Jesus. There'll be more. I need to hide away somewhere. Come to Talmberg. You'll be surrounded by a whole garrison there. Yes. Yes, I suppose that does make sense. Uh, thank you, Henry. I'm in your debt. We'll meet at Talmberg.
Henry. Tom. Doesn't think anything. Look, a well, it is crowd. Hmm. I tried that. Out. Do you and maybe if I brought some? That hmm. All right. God be with you. I'll come again. Then I understand. May the Lord God be with you. I won't get any sleep. I just won't get any sleep. What the hell are you fooling about here for? Be off right now or I'll fucking see you off. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? If you don't clear off quick, it'll be the worse for you. Just can't.
can't. I just can't. Yeah. A well-chosen site. You want to strike the gate, do you? True. We don't want to do more damage than necessary. I quite understand. Sir Toth is holed up there, is he? Just so, Master Conrad. I hear you have some accounts to settle with him. Ah, not entirely. I've done with him. Sigismund trusted him more than me in his campaign against the Ottomans, and we all know how that ended up. Uh, how did it end up? Badly, my lord. The flower of French knighthood was slain there. Sigismund fled for his life, and I did too, I must confess. Be assured we shall not make the same mistake here. We do not intend to starve them into submission, but to break down the gate. I am at your service, my lords. We will build the trebuchet quickly. It will be ready in a matter of days. And I can supply, for example, Roquetta to sweep the foe from the battlements. Roquetta? I do not believe I've heard of such a term. Roquetta are missiles filled with black powder with a touch hole at the bottom to ignite it. They shoot forward, something like a hand cannon, but without rocks. The rocket is the missile. I see. But we don't have black powder in these parts. Nor cannon. Indeed. It should have occurred to me. 
but I am very fond of Rochetta, and I always think what Alexander the Great might have accomplished with them. I understand. We find ourselves in a conventional situation that demands a conventional solution. I'm still hoping that Toth will see sense and parley with us. He may well do so, especially when we set up the trebuchet on his doorstep. I could do with a bite to eat. Greetings. What business have you? I came to an agreement with Comrade. He's already here. You wouldn't believe how clever that fellow is. Now we really will build that trebuchet. That I guarantee you. Just one thing. If he should send you somewhere and tell you to give some password about a fox or some such, well, you should take it with a grain of salt. Password? Fox? Uh, all right. I'll bear it in mind. Glad I could be of service. I'm truly grateful to you. And the men will be too when the assault starts. Fine work. You've certainly saved many lives. I probably shouldn't, but go and have a look in my trunk. You might find something there you can use. Thank you. May the Lord watch over you. Greetings. How do you like it here, Master Keezer? It's quite satisfactory. Indeed, it's more than satisfactory. I have to commend Master Feyfar for his diligent supervision of the construction work. His extensive knowledge of mechanics is proving most useful. He has the makings of quite a competent siege master. I don't think he's yearning to become one. His life's mission has been to manage the mines. <laughs> we'll see if he feels the same after he has a crack at firing our trebuchet. It's a sight to knock the wind out of any man, especially if he's standing too close. You're a physician too, are you not, Master Keezer? Indeed. I served as physician at several courts. Could you take a look at our wounded? Or just Sir Divish? I can attend to Sir Divish, certainly, but I don't have time to tend the rest. The trebuchet construction keeps me fully occupied. I understand. I'll try and get someone else then. But I'd be glad if you'd attend to Sir Divish. Certainly. I'll be there as soon as I have a moment.
No. Yep. God Almighty, has something happened to you? How are things with you? I thank the Lord, I'm still alive and well. So do I. Others haven't been so fortunate. Take care. God save you. What do you think of Master Kizo? He definitely knows what he's doing. And all that wild talk of his, rockets and such like. I'd almost let him try it out, but on some other castle. Do you think there's any truth in it? I've never seen such weapons used, so I can't really judge. But if his ideas worked, they'd change the way we make war. He showed me some of the drawings he has with him. I don't know if he's a genius or a madman. God be with you. The Lord be praised. Master Fafar. How's the trebuchet construction going? Much better now that I have Master Kiza to help me. Although, to be quite honest, it's more a case of me helping him. I'm taking note and learning as I go. Next time round, you'll be the siege master. I rather hope they won't be here next time. How much longer do you think it will take? I wouldn't like to hazard a guess. As I understand it, the base is quick to make but the other parts are more complicated. And then there's all the balancing and setting the trajectory and range. I see. Well, I hope it's ready soon. So do I, Henry. May the Lord watch over you. Now, let's see how strong those walls are. Just the first shot. The trebuchet has to be calibrated. That's perfectly normal. I'll have the range in no time. Move. Move. God damn it, I have to get to Sir Divish. Sir. They're coming. There's no time. Someone bring water. Breathe, man. You'll be all right. Who's coming? There's an army on the way. And they're carrying the colors of Havel Medic, of Valdek. And they're very close. Havel Medic is surely not coming to help us. Not that bastard. I have a score to settle with him.
Gentlemen, Toth's reinforcements are about to descend on us. That swine. How many men? We don't know exactly, but there are many, and they will probably be here by dawn. So soon? How is it that we knew nothing about this before? The whole land is in chaos. It's a wonder we can find out anything at all. If they attack from the rear... We'd be finished, just as Toth has been planning. A sneaky weasel. He's been one step ahead of us the whole time. Not this time, though. What are you thinking? Robard, how do you think the weather will be tomorrow? Uh, well, sir, uh, if my joints don't deceive me, and they rarely do, it'll rain. It'll rain buckets. Here. We'll make a stand here, I and Radzig's men. You will wait until they charge us, and then strike them from the rear. Here and here. If we succeed, we'll have it over and done with before they notice anything in Tampa. It might just work, but we'll have to leave someone in the encampments in case they do come out of Talberg. A few men will be all I need. Well, that depends on whether you can hold out. We don't even know how many there are. We will hold out. I'll give the orders to my men. We will be ready. My part in the battle, sir. Attack, I wanted to go attack. with the Scalitz men. I need more than that from you. More, sir? If we can't hold out at the quarry, we're finished. You, I, Hanish, and Radzik. And since Hanish is commanding the flank attack, Radzik is captive and I'm wounded, Captain Robard will be leading on the field. Of course. Who better? There's no question Robard's a good commander. But many of the men will be from Scalitz. We need someone there who knows them and has their respect. Sir? I mean you, Henry. But... that is... I want to be in the vanguard. Now hear me well, Henry. There are whole cemeteries full of heroes who rushed into danger. And if the first human you meet runs you through, it won't be good for morale. Not to mention that Radzik would have my guts for garters. In the battle, you and a group of Scarlet's men will be concealed in the woods over the road. But sir, I think I should... Quiet! Don't underestimate the task I'm setting you. You'll have to keep nervous men on a short reign and not attack too soon. And then conduct the attack on the rear so fiercely and quickly that the foe has no chance to react. If the line should start to break, we need someone with their head firmly on their shoulders to keep control of the men. Hmm. Very well, sir. That's what I like to hear. When you're ready, go and join the Scalitz men. They'll be mustering in the woods above the road to Rete. If you thought you'd be spending the whole siege sitting on your horses playing dice and swilling ale, you were sadly mistaken. Havel Medic is bearing down on us with his band of goat fuckers. And if there's one thing we pride ourselves on in Talmberg, is that we defend the honor of our goats. All right, now to business. Get ready in the ravine before the pit to Rovna. We'll spray the damn blood.
Yeah.